everybody. This is Amy Elmont at Teller Netcast, and joining me today is Mark Platten with the CSU Extension. Welcome again, Mark. Thanks, Amy. Good to see you again. To start from the beginning, what is radon? So radon is a radioactive gas that is, it, it, when uranium breaks down, its eventual stage that uranium breaks down into is lead. Okay. But between uranium and lead, which is a stable form over here, it goes through seven different transitions. And one of those transitions is radon, which is a gas. Okay. So different than the uranium, which is a, which is a solid, Radon is a gas, and that's part of the reason why it's the, the it's so dangerous is because it's radioactive and it's very short lifespan. So it only mm -hmm. in its in its uh, radon form it breaks down within a couple of minutes to its next form, which is polonium, the polonium atom. So mm -hmm. what happens is when that changes state, it releases energetic radioactive particles, alpha particles and beta particles, and some gamma. Okay. But the biggest ones we're worrying about is the alpha particles. They're much larger particles and they do damage. And so when we breathe in air, as we always do, and we breathe in radon, that radon particle transitions from the radon to polonium and releases those particles, those radioactive particles, what happens is it can affect our lungs and that's where lung cancer can be hmm. created. How does one figure out what really is safe and what does need to be acted upon. What we do again in extensions, we provide the information, we provide the research-based data. Okay. So in the United States, it's four picocuries per liter is what the kind of the threshold is that they suggest taking action and, and mitigating it's your home. That, that if, it's, if it's four or above, take action. Okay. And again, for us at that four picocuries per liter, you asked before, you know, is it an issue here in Teller County? Uh, I've been doing these short-term kits. I'll show these here. These are what the short-term radon kits actually look like. So okay. this is just a spacer. You kind of open this up here. You put the spacer in and you hang it from the ceiling for three to seven days. Oh, wow. And it's just collecting the radon. And you, when you're done, you take that spacer out. You seal the package up here and you send it in. There's a free mailer here. So it's all free here for Teller wow. County. I've got 400 test kits here. About two-thirds of the homes here in Teller County have that greater than four picocuries per liter or greater. Wow. So the odds are that most of the homes here are going to have radon. Is this causing problems in the real estate market, causing deals to fall through? Sure. And I, I see a couple of things with this going on. Number one, I actually hold classes to educate realtors on radon and, and that it doesn't, it, they're not deal breakers. It may seem a little bit scary. It's like, oh my gosh, it's going to cost me $20,000 to fix this. Really, in most homes, it's somewhere between a thousand and two thousand dollars to put a, okay. a mitigation system in. So it's not like it's going to break the bank, okay. or in most cases, end a real estate transaction of any sort. And so somebody may ask, well, what's what does that four pico carries really mean? Well, to kind of give you an idea of what it relates to from a smoking perspective, because people kind of understand that maybe at between eleven and twelve pico carries per liter is equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. Wow. Okay. So that kind of gives you some. So if you're at four pico cures, it'd be like a third of a pack a day that you, the equivalent that of this. You're basically smoking. what you're doing to your lungs. Sure. Well, if someone wants more information about radon, if they want a free kit or this handy DVD that can teach them how to mitigate it themselves, where do they go to get this information? Oh, good. So you can either stop by my office, which is over at 800 Research Drive here in Woodland Park. You can stop by there. I also have free kits at the Building and Planning Department, which is also in that same complex, Plex over at 800 Research Drive. Or if you're in the divide area up in that uh, region of the county, uh, the public health here, so on the back side of Venture Foods, right. uh, public health also has these test kits available here. Again, free of charge as part of a grant that I put together. That sounds good. <laughs> Thank you again for your time. This is great information, really important. So All right, thanks, we Amy. We will always appreciate having you here. Mark. Absolutely. Good to be here. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Amy Elmont. This is Mark Platten. We're on Tellernetcast.com. Thanks. Take care.